Hi folks, this is Carrie Stack over at All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio. Just want to give you a quick overview of this brand new 2016 Cherokee 304R that we have in stock and available. Right off the bat, you can see up front there, you've got a power tongue jack, which is always handy if you don't want to crank that thing up and down. You've got your two 20 pound propane tanks, and of course this unit would come with a battery. You see the nice big diamond guard, uh, diamond plate guard that you have there down front and it is coated so it won't get that uh, oxidized look like the uncoated ones do. You've also got your rigid brand LED floodlight on the side here that is really bright. It's really nice if you need to work out here uh, getting hooked up or unhooked or packed uh, at night or early in the morning. You've got your storage area up front here. You can see it's quite large and you've got a lot of flexibility with size and shape of things that you can put in here. You've also got your solar prep so you can get solar panels that would plug into this outlet right here. You can triple charge that battery and run just about everything except your air conditioner and microwave. Power awning. This awning comes out eight feet as usual. It does have blue LED lights underneath that awning which gives a nice mood and it does not attract bugs like the white ones do. Continuing on you see you've got your outside speakers which are nice and low so you're not blasting the neighbors with your music. Outdoor TV bracket on the side of the camper here, which matches the one inside, so you can just take the TV inside and bring it out. And you've also got your outlets and TV hookups here as well. If we continue around the back here, you'll see that this camper does come with a travel rack. This rack is rated for 200 pounds. You've also got your spare tire with your cover as well. This unit is also prepped for a backup camera, so if you wanted to add one, it would be easy to do. The housing is already there, you just basically plug one in. <clears throat> You've got your outlet here for your 30 amp service. It does come with that 30 amp power cord. And you can see, as we continue around the side, you've got your outside shower, which has hot and cold water. And you also have a black tank flush on this unit which is really nice so you don't have to drag a garden hose or a bucket of water in and dump it in the toilet. You can just hook a hose right up to this, turn it on, it activates a sprayer inside the tank, and then you can dump your, your tank and be done. You don't have to be dragging stuff into the camper. Continuing around, you've got your usual water hookups. You've got your fresh water fill area as well as your city water hookup. And then you've got your hot water heater. So if we go on inside, you'll see this camper is really really big. It's got a lot of natural light and a ton of storage. Right off the bat you can see this nice faux brickwork, stonework that they do um, in these units. <clears throat> really gives a nice effect. And if we look into the living area you can see that the two opposing slides really make this nice and open. You've got tons of windows in here. Look at the size of these windows, they're huge. Your dinette of course can convert for extra sleeping. And when I say they have a lot of storage, this bottom drawer that pulls out from the dinette is huge. It's full length. It goes the full length of that booth. And the other side does the same. <clears throat> You've got your couch here. This middle portion, which has your cup holders in it, can flip up so that you can have more seating available. And this couch jackknifes so you can have an additional sleeping space. These recliners are very, very comfortable. Um, way more comfortable than they look actually. They do recline. And again, nice big windows, windows on either side, big picture window in the back, and another window over here. They also do a great job with outlets in this unit. You've got a set of outlets here, another set of outlets in this corner, another set of outlets by the TV as well as a USB charging station, and of course all your TV hookups over here, and there's that same TV bracket that I mentioned before. You've got more storage down below in these cabinets. They're nice and deep. You can put a good amount of, of stuff in there, games, videos, books, music, whatever you want to bring with. And then you've got some pantry area over here as well. Again, really deep. You can get just about everything that you would need into these cabinets. Let's talk about this island. This island is really quite large. It's got a ton of storage space in it and there's no sink in it so all of it is storage space you don't have to worry about the plumbing taking up space or the sink bowl these drawers pull out nice and deep and this island is completely movable you can put it wherever you want i can move it up toward 
the sink area if I want to. I can bring it back and then I can just lock the wheels in place wherever I choose to leave it. You also got these hooks on the back side as well as more cabinets over here by the sink area for additional storage. These are huge. Let's backtrack over to the refrigerator. Obviously you got your two-way refrigerator. It's gas and electric. And then you come over and you've got your stovetop and, and oven area. The stovetop does have a cover on it, so it makes everything flush. You've got plenty of counter space, especially when you're not using that stovetop. And there's a nice big window. They put windows everywhere they could. They moved that microwave down a little bit. A lot of folks don't use it as much. And they gave you a set of outlets right there as well. There's another set of outlets here right above your tank checks. And they continue this faux rock work around this sink area. It's a really nice arch. Residential style faucet with a sprayer that pulls out. And you've got one large sink bowl in here. You've got more storage on either side of the sink. Spices, napkins, whatever you might want to put there. And if we continue around over to the bathroom area, you can see it's a nice size bathroom. You've got your toilet over here, your corner shower. They even give you hooks so that you can put towels and clothes on those hooks. A lot of times they don't give you anything. You have to sort of figure out where to put your clothes and towels while you're showering. You get the Max Air vent fan up here. It does have three different speeds. Uh, really moves a lot of air. And then of course you've got your sink area over here with another cabinet below and another cabinet up top and another set of outlets. Then you may have noticed this set of cabinets over to the side. Even more storage, linens, towels, extra clothes, sweatshirts in case you get a cold snap. There is also an entrance directly from the bathroom into the bedroom. You've got your wardrobe cabinets on either side. They do have mirrors and you've got the hanging bar. They're nice and deep. Again, you've got outlets on either side of the bed so you can plug in anything you might need, charge your phone, run your CPAP machine, whatever the case may be. Big windows in here as well. These are nice tall windows and you get your storage area under the bed as well. Now your other entrance to the bedroom is over here and this is your main hallway. So I'll just go ahead and close that bathroom door and you can see we come back into the living area. And that's just a quick overview of some of the features on this 2016 Cherokee 304R that we have in stock. There's a lot more I didn't go over. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or if you'd like to come see it, let me know. My name again is Carrie and the phone number here is 330-564-0222 or you can email me and my email address is Carrie, that's K as in Kite, E as in Edward, R as in Robert, R as in Robert, Y at ASRVS.com. That's A as in Apple, S as in Sam, R as in Robert, V as in Victor, S as in Sam.com. And that's about it. So feel free to come out and take a look, get in touch with me. We'll see if we can get you camping. Thanks for watching.